Hello friends, welcome to today's video. This video is going to be a meal prep video. I did meal prep a breakfast, snack, and lunch. My breakfast is going to be a yogurt, fruit, and granola parfait. I am currently following the Weight Watchers Blue Plan, so the points I'm going to mention are for the Blue Plan, and the breakfast parfaits will be two points. I am going to prepare snack boxes that are also going to be two points on the WW Blue Plan. And then the largest part of the video is going to be dedicated to a seven point cauliflower mac and cheese. The recipe does come from the Emily Bites website, so I am going to link down below to the recipe. So if you want to make it yourself, you can go to her website for the exact directions. I do want to apologize as well. I'm getting used to doing voiceover, so the audio isn't perfect in this, but I do hope to improve it for future videos. So let's get into the meal prep. I'm going to start by making the cauliflower mac and cheese. To start with, you're going to cut up a large head of cauliflower, and you want these to be cut up into fairly small florets. Uh, so normally I would use a bit of the stem, but in this case I'm cutting that out. You're going to want to cut this up and half of it is going to be used for the sauce and the other half is going to be used uh, just whole in the macaroni. I'm putting the half that's going to be used for the sauce into a pot. We're going to cook it on the stove so that it gets really, really soft. And this is going to be cooked together with a cup of chicken broth is what the recipe called for. I tend to use um, bouillon cubes just so I always have them on hand. So I'm just adding a cup of water here and then I will put in the uh, crumble in the bouillon cube to make the stock. I'm also going to measure out my pasta. Uh, I'm going to be using eight ounces of whole wheat pasta. I'm just measuring that out um, with a scale so I make sure I get the right amount. And it's going to boil along with the other amount of cauliflower. Um, so that is going to all cook together. While I'm waiting for the water to boil for the pasta, I'm getting my cheese shredded. I'm using this Armstrong 40% less fat cheese. I did figure out how many points of cheese I could use to keep the recipe at seven points per serving. Now what I should have done here was freeze the cheese a little bit ahead of time, which makes it a little bit more firm and easier to shred. I believe I ended up with just over 200 grams of shredded cheese for this recipe. The pot of cauliflower for the sauce is going over medium high heat. You're going to cook it for a total of 20 minutes, uh, but you do want to keep stirring it because it's not a huge amount of liquid in there. And once your water is boiling, put the pasta in. You want to cook it for about a minute or so less than getting it al dente because it will continue cooking uh, in the oven. Basically, I'm bringing it back to a boil here um, and then cooking it with the lid off for eight minutes, I believe it was, for my pasta. Once the cauliflower for the sauce has cooked for about 20 minutes total, you do want to take it off of the heat and let it sit for 10 minutes. You can see there's not a huge amount of liquid left there, but the next step is going to be blending it. So I just let it sit for 10 minutes and you don't want it to be super, super hot when you use a blender to blend anything. So you've basically just given it a little bit of time to cool down. When you do blend it, you're going to add a quarter cup of water to it, just to give a little bit more liquid in there for blending. I think you could also do this one with an immersion blender, but it's nice to get it really uh, smooth with a actual blender. And this is what it looked like after blending. We are gonna put it back on the heat, but you also want to add another quarter cup of liquid at this point. And what I do is add the quarter cup of liquid of water, I should say, into the blender itself so that I can sort of rinse out a little bit more of the cauliflower that's been blended. Back on the heat, you're going to add uh, most of the grated cheese. You're going to leave a little bit left to uh, top off the casserole, but the rest of it is going to go into the sauce itself. And you can see here the amount that I left to put onto the casserole at the end to melt. At this time, you're also going to add pepper. I like a good amount of pepper and some cayenne pepper. 
And this wasn't called for in the recipe, but I like to add to my mac and cheese just a little bit of yellow mustard. It adds a bit of tanginess to it and a little depth of flavor. After melting for a while, this actually melts really well together and makes a really lovely smooth cheese sauce. I was very excited at this point. So you're gonna add in your cooked pasta and cauliflower and mix that up so it all gets nicely covered. The recipe does say if you need to, you can add a little bit more liquid or water at this point, but I didn't need to. Then you're gonna take a nine by 13 baking dish, uh, lightly spray it. I did mine with olive oil and spread out the mac and cheese. To top it, we're going to toast some breadcrumbs. You do this in just a dry pan. This is a quarter cup. You do want to keep a close eye on this. It will start to brown rather quickly. You're basically getting them to the point of looking golden. And then add a pinch of garlic powder to it. The recipe also says to add dried parsley. I just didn't have that to add. You'll top your mac and cheese with the leftover cheddar that didn't go into the sauce and those lovely breadcrumbs and pop it in the oven at 375 for 20 to 25 minutes. For my breakfast, I'm going to make yogurt parfaits and I thought I would use my nice little wine glasses because why not? Uh, it's going to be made with 0% plain Greek yogurt. Because I'm on the blue plan, um, this is a free food. But if you're on the green plan, you'll want to measure it. I just used about a serving. I then used some defrosted frozen berries that I had. And the nice thing about the defrosted frozen berries is there's usually a little bit of liquid in there that I add in as well. And you're basically going to do this in two layers. That there's a layer of yogurt, a layer of fruit and then another layer of yogurt, and then topping it off with a bit more fruit. So far we're at zero points, and you can see what a nice layered look this gives to the parfait. And then I have this granola. This is the Flax Plus Pecan Maple Crunch from Nature's Path. I'm using two points worth of granola, which is a quarter cup, and I'm putting these into some smaller containers because I do want it to stay crunchy. So when I have it in the morning, I can just dump that on top. Finally, for my super simple snack, I'm going to make some onion dip just with this onion soup mix dried. The actual recipe calls for two cups of sour cream to a full pack. I'm going to use one cup of 0% fat-free Greek yogurt to a half pack of the soup mix to give me um, four snack boxes is what I'm gonna make to start with so that I can have a quarter cup per snack box. And at that amount, it's actually zero points per serving of the dip because it would usually be one point for a half cup. You want to mix this well and you want to make it ahead because the yogurt will rehydrate the soup mix. I'm going to use these good thin crackers. Um, you get 30 of them for two points, so I'm just counting out 30 into each snack box. These are a WW staple. I'm then putting about a quarter cup of this soup mix, or this dip I should say, into little containers in each box and kind of using them as a divider between my carrots and my corn thins. So these end up being two-point snack boxes. There we go, guys. I am looking forward to having these meals throughout the week, and I am thinking of doing a full day of eating and exercising video so you can see how I work this into my day, including my dinner, as well as giving you some reviews of the meal prep, so let me know if you're interested in that. Also, if you want to watch more of my Weight Watchers content, I will put a link up here to the entire playlist. And if you're interested in some more of my fitness related videos, I will put a link here to one of the videos uh, that has been most popular from that series, my Peloton video. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye!